Hello everyone and I welcome all of you to the YouTube channel of Wired. So in this video, I am going to talk about the top management programs of TIS. Now all of you are set to crack this, this, uh, this year PUET PG for TIS and you must be aware about some of the management programs. In case you don't know about that, we are here to clear all your doubts regarding the same. So come, let's see. This is a top flagship program of this, the much wanted, the Master of Arts in Human Resource Management and Labor Studies, the HRM and LR program. So the exam that you need to give is COQP 12. The location is Mumbai. The school that it falls under is School of Management and Labor Studies and the Center for Human Resources Management and Labor Relations. The intake is 60. Now 60 might sound a lot, but the competition is intense. Now, I'm not here just to tell you about these things, but I'm also here to reveal the placement snapshot of the batch of 2022-2024 from the TIS. So, this is a, a snapshot of the same where you can see the highest package has gone up to 49 lakhs per annum, which was 18.4% higher than the previous year. Then, 25.75 lakhs per annum was a median salary, which was 14.4% higher and 27.22 uh, lakhs per annum which was 13.8% higher than the previous year and this is the average salary. <coughs> the participating firms were a total of 42 and the offers made were 69 for a batch of 60 people. So you can see the gender diversity is 42% and 58% so that was also pretty high. This is a little about the program. There were four field work stints, one social work stint interdisciplinary exposure and research-based curriculum is what this program focused on. Now you can see some of the top recruiters over here and Deloitte, Samsung, VIP, Mars, HDFC Bank, Cipla, Barclays, Amazon, Flipkart, KPMG, PNG, uh, then Ola, Disney, all of these have been making offers, placement offers at the Tata Institute of Social Science. And uh, you can see that experience wise, also there were a lot of people. So, freshers total made up a total of 35%. So, those freshers were still in doubt whether I should apply or not, whether I'll get uh, selected or not. So, 35% freshers were a part of this particular batch. So, I think, uh, and of course, work experience people with 37 months plus, there were 11, then 14 in 25 to 26 range, and so on and so forth. So, there were a lot of, uh, you know, people who, from different exposures, from different fields and you don't need to uh, make, uh, you don't, you, I hope this clarifies any sort of confusion that you have. Also, if you see the highest placements have been in the FMCG sector and uh, followed by the engineering and tech sector, then the conglomerates and manufacturing are almost at par with each other. Uh, so, these are a few industries that you can target through this program as well. Now, you might be confused about what are the kind of, uh, you know, uh, the roles that one gets after this kind of program. So, we have that sorted for you as well. Talent acquisition specialist is one of the roles which is much in demand post uh, the TIS HRM and LR program. Then, L&D, learning and development manager, labor relations specialist, employee relations manager, Compensation and Benefits Manager managing the entire organization's payroll and HR Analytics Specialist. So combining together, your, especially you're from the IT background, combining your previous knowledge along with your HR knowledge, you can definitely land up for a post like this. Now, Master of Arts in Labor Studies and Practice, that is the LSP. So the exam one needs to do is COQP 12. The location is Mumbai. It falls under the School of Management and Labor Studies and the center is also School of Management and Labor Studies. The total intake is just 26. So here is a placement report, uh, the summer and final placement summary for the year 2022-2023 from the TIS, which is uh, available in the public domain. So if you look at this, the highest CTC has gone up to uh, 21.5 LPA, average CTC is 16.06 LPA and median CTC is also as high as 15.26. So this is the final year placement highlights for the batch of 2023. And uh, the top 10% uh, top have total made up of 20.75 LPA, the top 25% 19.67 and 20% were placed through their PPOs or pre-placement offers. That is the summer 
uh, internship, the company at which they did the summer internship, they were absorbed by the same company with a placement offer. So it's a pre-placement offer that we are talking about. And if you look at the summer internship highlights for the batch of 2024, the highest stipend has gone up to 2 lakhs per month. Uh, the average stipend has been high, as high as 1.04 and median stipend has been 90,000. So these are few of the uh, highlights about their placements. Now, if you look at the core competencies, the subjects that they focus on, industrial relations, employee relations, human resource management, HR and impact consulting, public policy and research, skill development, CSR labor welfare, data and labor analytics. So these are a few core competencies that they focus on. And uh, these are a few companies who have been past recruiters, Havels, Genpak, ENY, Sipla, Bosch, HDFC, Ergo, Bajaj. So these are a few companies who have recruited students from here. So I hope this gives you an idea. Also, there have been a number of pressures who have been placed for this. Uh, people with more, less than one year of work ex and people with more than one year of work ex are somewhere uh, lesser than the total number of freshers in both these batches. Now the roles post this LSP program are labor relations specialist, policy analyst, CSR managers, labor welfare officers, training and development specialists, researchers or academicians and NGO project managers. So these are pretty interesting roles and only when you have uh, you know done a complete you've completed the curriculum of such a specific course can you land up in such roles and with such great placement offers. Now, Master of Arts in Organizational Development, Change and Leadership, which is ODCL, the exam code uh, for the same is COQP12 and it falls under the School of Management and Labor Studies, the intake for which is just 35. So now if we look at the placement report over here, these are for 2020 and 2022, uh, which uh, is available. So the highest that had gone was 42.09 lakhs per annum. Uh, the top 75% made up to, uh, to 27.51 lakhs per annum. The top 50% the average placement for the same were 29.19 lakhs per annum. And top 25% made up, up to 34.38 lakhs per annum. Uh, now the CTC growth year on year for this particular program from 2018, 20, 2019, 21 and 2022 has, be, has been on a increase. So 17.05 lakhs per annum. The average CTC in the years 2018-2020, uh, then it went up to 18.17 lakhs per annum in 2019 and 2021 and it went as high as 25.4 lakhs per annum in 2020-2022. And if you see the sector-wise placements, the consulting job uh, people have landed up with is with 65%. 65% of the total placements have happened in the consulting sector. Uh, then 13% in pharma. 9% in the manufacturing uh, industry and others totally comprise of 13%. So some of the industry partners for them have been Shell, Dr. Reddy's, Deloitte, Pedalite, Accenture Strategy, Afcons, Amazon, Accenture. So all of these have been their uh, industry partners or recruiters from this program. Now 30% uh, as you can see were PPO holders over here <clears throat> and uh, 29 years was the average age. 24% females were there in the batch and 44 months average work ex was the total. Uh, however, uh, so work ex is a little important. It's given a little more weightage when it comes to ODCL as we see year on year. Now, what are the kind of uh, roles that you might land up in post doing a course from this in ODCL is obviously organizational development consultant, then leadership development managers, change management consultant. So uh, a, a particular organization has to go through a lot of changes, especially in case of mergers and acquisitions and all of that. So how does the entire staff have to be handled? That's what change management is about. Talent management specialist, performance improvement consultant, organizational culture manager. So these are the kind of roles that you take up post doing a course in ODCL. Moving on to the final course, which is Master of Arts or Master of Science in Analytics, for which you need to crack the paper COQP 11. Uh, from the School of Management and Labor Studies, the current intake is at 34. So here is a report that is available and uh, so the final placement report for MA, MSc Analytics is uh, for this is this was for the year 2020-2022. It was a small batch of 22 people then. 
The roles offered were those of analyst, data scientist, associate consultant, managerial role, process lead, developer, project manager. And uh, these are the domain distribution. So 43% got uh, placed with analytics and consulting job and 28 followed by engineering and manufacturing, which was as high as 28% of the batch. Then 14% uh, in SaaS roles, 8% in operations and 7% in IT and IES. ITES, sorry. So uh, the bad statistics were this, and there were 59% freshers. Others were uh, others were people who had work ex. Now, past of uh, the organizations were Deloitte, McKinsey and Company, UPL, ENY, Mindtickle, Thermo Fisher Scientific. Uh, these are all very good organizations, the top organizations who have hired from this for the course MA MSc Analytics. Now, the highest coming to the placement, the highest package has gone up to 24 lakhs per uh, per annum. The top 50%, if the batch is top 50% of the students are taken, then the top, uh, then the average went up to 17.2 lakhs per annum. The median salary was 14 lakhs per annum and the average salary was 14.5 lakhs per annum. So industry uh, collaboration. So these were organizations that gave them full-time roles, FTE, full-time employment roles. And these are other industry collaborations where there were opportunities of maybe internships or industry exposure. So Cloud9, Mahindra Logistics, HCL, Toyota, ITC. So great organizations to learn from. Now, roles post test analytics program, obviously data analyst, data scientist, risk analyst. So you've seen these kind of roles where people have already been placed from that program. Business intelligence analyst, market research analyst, and data engineers. So I hope this video helped you get a lot of awareness about where you are headed with respect to your test management programs. If you're looking for structured preparation, proper guidance, proven strategies, right roadmap to crack top programs of this in just one attempt, don't forget to click the link in description. I am sure if you get this kind of guidance every day, no one can stop you from getting into the top business school or the top institute in India right now. So don't forget to click on like and subscribe. All the best.